Top leader Kim Jong-un reviewed the troops at Kim Yong-sun Square at tanks and other military hardware paraded in Pyongyang. After inspecting an honor guard, Kim watched the parade along with top military and party leaders. Tens of thousands of personnel were involved. The country's most advanced weaponry included the debut of submarine-launched ballistic missiles. All this aimed to send a tough, clear message. Pyongyang is under multiple sets of United Nations sanctions over its missile programs and nuclear tests. Last month, three rockets came down in waters close to Japan. And now, a U.S. strike group with the flagship aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson is on its way to the region. This and current joint military exercises by the U.S. and South Korea are viewed by the DPRK as preparations for invasion. There's worldwide speculation the DPRK could be preparing a missile launch or even another nuclear test. Pyongyang has been keeping the region and indeed much of the world on edge with its nuclear weapons testing and rhetoric. Hu Zhuqiao, CGTN.